Savannah, ever since the first day I met you, I've been attracted to you. As time went on, that attraction for you only grew as I got to know how beautiful you are inside and out. Today I'm the most attracted to you because you're standing here, ready to be my wife with all your love and promising to take the rest of our lives together. We've grown up since then, and Zach's shown me a lot of love. We've both worked on becoming better men, and our relationship has grown stronger than it ever has. So if I know the way he treats me as his brother, and seeing the way that Zach and Savannah look today, I know that they'll be happily ever after. I'm representing my husband and I, my Savannah's dad, and saying that we have been extremely blessed having Savannah as a wonderful daughter and now having Zach as a great son. Uh, when she was 10 years old, there were 80 level six 10-year-old gymnasts in the state of Texas, and she finished eighth out of all those kids. So she was a great gymnast. She's been a great student a great daughter and we're happy especially to have not only Zach but his entire family wow oh my goodness. you're so beautiful oh you're nervous you're shaking I haven't like done anything I haven't eaten nothing I'm so nervous no don't be nervous <laughs> Before I met you, I prayed for someone like you. God put you in my life for a reason. When you found me, I was broken, and you healed me by showing me what unconditional love felt like. You're everything and more I ever wanted in a husband. I vow to be your number one supporter and fan for your dreams, desires, and aspirations. I vow to love you for the person you are and never try to change you. I vow that whatever life throws our weights, to work with you as my best friend, partner, soulmate, and lover to conquer it together. I vow to make decisions as a team, and I vow to keep these promises till death do us part, and I will never forget these promises I made to you today, no matter how tough life gets for us, because we will always come out stronger together. I love you, Savannah. I promise that I will laugh with you, cry with you, mourn with you, and grow with you. I will share, you, I'll share with you my dreams and support you as we strive to achieve our goals. When I listen to you, I will listen with compassion and understanding. <laughs> I promise to love, encourage, trust, and respect you for who you are now and who we will become. I will always love you and have faith in you and in our marriage through all the years that are, that are, that are to come. <laughs> Let's always honor and respect each other always. I love you, my husband. Zach, you may kiss your wife. Family and friends, it is with great pleasure that I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Zach Stewart. So your marriage will have, you know, the same kind of things and scratches, but you make it through. Those are growing pains, okay? 
My advice is keep Jesus Christ in the middle of your marriage and always stay focused on yourself and you will have a blessed life together. Savannah came along. They become friends. I watched him as they grew. I could tell how he treated her, that this was very special. They became more than friends. They became best friends. And as we all know, that's what it takes to make it. And I know that Zach and Savannah will make it. When I say I love you, I will always remember it is not just a word, because love is patient, kind, and does not envy. It does not boast and it's not proud. It does not dishonor and it's not self-seeking, and it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs and it does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, trusts, hopes, and always perseveres. And lastly, it never fails.